Well, the new research is offering hope. In Norway, they found that a drug normally used to treat cancer has helped people with ME. And those scientists have been in Norwich today to talk about a trial of that same drug here. They've been working closely with those at the Institute of Food Research. Professor Simon Carding told me why what's been discovered in Norway is so significant. I think it's very exciting because for the first time we've identified a possible treatment for this horrible devastating disorder and it really highlights that there's probably something really fundamentally wrong with the immune system in these patients which if that is held to be true then it clearly gives us insights into all sorts of potential therapies and interventions so it's, it's very significant. And what we're talking about here is, is a cancer drug isn't it? That's right. So it was really by accident that this drug was identified. So Dr. Royston Flug in Bergen was treating patients with lymphoma with this drug, some of which had ME. And he found after treatment that the ME symptoms improved significantly. And that's led to various trials to sort of consolidate that finding, which he has done now. So how does all this fit into what I know you've been focusing on, and that is looking at, at the gut as an origin of this disease? Well, that's right. So it, they do actually link together. I mean, it may be very difficult to sort of appreciate it, but the antibody therapy is, is targeted at removing cells in the body that produce antibodies. Now, we believe that the trigger that is responsible for producing these bad antibodies originates in the gut. So by eliminating the source of the antibodies, you can provide an effective therapy. We are trying to identify what might trigger these cells to start making the antibodies in the first place. We would not be doing what we're doing today if it weren't for the money that's pr produced by or offered by the patients themselves. So it's entirely their efforts in raising funds that's allowed us to get to this point now. So where do you go from here then? I mean trials here in Norwich, is that the plan? We are very interested in developing that and with the, in, with the help of Invested in ME Charity we are looking at trying to replicate these really uh, outstanding results that the Norwegians have here in this region at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital with patients from the Norfolk and Suffolk region. So it's really exciting times for ME research and we're building Norwich as a centre of excellence for ME research. I know the last thing scientists like to do is to offer false hope, yeah. but how optimistic should patients with ME be feeling right now? I think patients have a right to be optimistic. As a scientist, I have to be cautious, but I'm also optimistic. Professor, thank you very much. Thank you very much.